Growing up in the small town in the Mississippi Delta definitely has its advantages and its disadvantages. One of the things that stands out to me when I think about my childhood was specifically the lack of resources involving counseling. My small community experienced lots of grief. Many children died and I remember thinking there's got to be services out there to help us and in this very small community there weren't. Being raised by two college instructors, I was always told that education was never wasted. And I think that is exactly why I am here today. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I started college. I just continued taking classes. My bachelor's degree is actually in audiology and speech pathology. But that's one of the most beautiful things about the counseling profession is everybody has a background or an undergraduate degree that brings something unique and different to our profession. I remember being a master's student in counseling and knowing that this was the right place for me because it let me help but also let me immerse myself in the power of human healing. And to me that's really what embodies the counseling profession is going on a journey, making a vulnerable choice to go on a journey with your client and seeing them make choices and changes in their life. It's a pretty powerful experience to be a part of that because I truly feel in my core being that School counselors have the ability to touch kids at their most vulnerable ages. They can help them and guide them with life choices, um, help them to make better decisions in the future. Moving into my doctoral program, I really wanted to more focus on the K through 12 environment. So I picked up some extra coursework. Um, I picked up a master's level internship. As a master's student, I remember for the first time working with a child who had been subject to physical and emotional abuse, or my pregnant mother who just didn't have resources, um, the dad who just really did not know how to communicate with his adolescent daughter, or the couple who just really didn't know how to get over that hump. Lamar University has lots of new and exciting things that are gonna be offering not only the state of Texas, but also our profession as a whole. Lamar University has opened multiple windows for me, especially with it being so progressive in our profession. Um, it allows teachers and people from a variety of other professions to access a graduate degree that was never accessible before. It's pretty amazing that on a weekly basis I interact with hundreds of students and those students are directly going out into the community and impacting hundreds of other students. In many ways, I learn just as much from my students as they learn from me. Um, it helps me know what's going on in our schools, where our needs are, how I can better help them to be more active in their environment that they're um, counseling or teaching or, or working in, whether it's clinical or a K-12 setting. Being at Lamar is a little bit different because you do have live webinars, but it's not face-to-face. -face. Being able to create those connections can be a little bit more difficult, but there is a beautiful thing called technology, and that allows you to connect with people. It is 100% a helping profession, and I think in order to really saturate yourself in a helping profession, you have to know that that's a part of who you are, and you have to want it.